record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another die cast review. Today, we have a very oddball die cast. We have a bright orange Wheaties paint scheme from Bubba Wallace. Now, I cannot remember the last time we had Wheaties. I want to say it was like, what, 2000, I don't know, maybe like 2010, 2011. I'm not too sure. I, I, I want to say it's like sooner than that or later than that, I guess. Maybe like COT era. I'm not too sure. But either way, it's been a while nonetheless. The last time I remember seeing Wheaties was on Earnhardt's car and... Was it one of the Burtons? I want to say one of the Burtons actually drove Wheaties for a little bit. I'm I, Again, I can't really recall that, but I know Senior did for, you know, a little bit there. So before we get into the die cash review, I have a couple stories I'd like to share about Wheaties in particular. I know it's kind of odd to say who has a story about freaking Wheaties. Well, this one just popped up. I just kind of remember this. But back in like fourth grade, I had like a little Wheaties car I brought to school. It was Earnhardt. And I had it in my locker, <laughs> and I opened my locker. That little thing fell, hit the ground, exploded into like seven pieces. I have never got a new one since. I'm so sad by it. So there's one. There's one tragic one, but the other one is uh, kind of heartwarming. So me and my dad are like big fishermen, right? We will actually use Wheaties to make dough ball. Now, dough ball is like a this weird concoction of like Wheaties uh garlic maybe throw i mean we got different ones we got like wheaties garlic it's like a mix of water and it, he basically takes wheaties and puts it in a ball and he throws like all these ingredients in it like he'll throw i don't know like grape kool-aid in one or garlic in another and it's used to catch like common carp or like catfish sometimes uh, normally carp are the one that kind of hits it but seeing wheaties just kind of brings back those memories because it was always in ohio right we always went to rainbow lakes i don't know if anybody knows about it i'm sure you know somebody out there does obviously but in terms of a viewer watching right now i don't know if anybody knows of rainbow lakes again it's in ohio somewhere don't really remember where exactly but we would go fishing there all the time we'd use dough ball uh weedy ball with same thing we call it different things and we just uh, just do a bunch of fishing and stuff so it kind of brings back a lot of memories just from my childhood in terms of just weedies in general now, if you don't know what Wheaties is, it's just cereal, plain and simple. But with that, here's another like weird thing. Fun fact, I've never had Wheaties. I haven't. Growing up around using Wheaties as bait for fish, I just never had it. From what I can tell, I don't know which one was first, but I would guess Wheaties was first. It's more of like the uh like the little flakes, like the Kellogg's. Oh my god, what 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 is it? It's the the tiger. What, who? What? What is that brand? Well, not. It's, I know. It's, I know what brand it is. What? What is the cereal? I don't remember. It's got the tiger. Tony the tiger. What? What is the cereal? It's like cornflakes, basically. That's all it is. It's just Wheaties. I mean, that's all it is. I think it's like they're like one of the original cornflake cereals. I don't really remember. Frosted flakes is what I was thinking for Kellogg's, but I think this is like the original type of that cereal. I don't know if it was before Kellogg's or after. But either way, I know Wheaties has been around for a long time. And they have, like, they always have some sort of athlete on the box. It's either, like, they either had Shaquille O'Neal, or they would have some type of, like, swimmer or soccer player or some type of, I don't know, basketball, NBA player, something like that. So I guess it's, like, I don't know, advertised as, like, a sports cereal or something like that. Again, not really too sure, but that's just kind of something that it reminds me of. But either way, this car is beautiful. I, you guys know I'm not a fan of Bubble Wallace, but this Wheaties paint scheme is great. The golden numbers, oh, what a sweet touch. So nice. If you guys know me, I absolutely love gold, and to see a gold foil number, ooh, that's good. That's really nice. I wish I got this on the sale for uh, Circle B Diecast. I wish... I did not have this car at the time in order to get it for the Black Friday sale, but I already had it. So, oh well, it is what it is. I would like this in the metal chassis, but man, I'm not going to bother to get one. Anyway, let's get this fantastic looking paint scheme out of the box, and let's take a closer look. Here's the die cast out of the box, and man, those gold chrome numbers, or those metallic gold numbers, just look so much better out of the box. It may not mean much in terms of paint scheme, but I think... 
I think it looks really good. Now, obviously, the Wheaties box is just pure orange. That's why there's no like, design or anything. It's just an orange box with Wheaties on it. So, that's I'm pretty sure the car is just based off of the box. I also just realized my heater turned off. I'm out of propane. Oh, that's fantastic. Anyway, I'll deal with that later. On to the diecast. I keep getting distracted with a whole bunch of things. But this thing is nice. That gold, like that, that chrome number... I mean, it's not the number, but the outline looks really good. It's very, like, wrinkly. I hate that, but it's like a gold foil, so, I mean, I understand. I mean, you can't really do much about it. So, onto the hood here. We got Wheaties right here. The Breakfast of Champions. A uh, hundred years of Wheaties, I guess, is where the gold comes from. It's like a uh, milestone type thing. Got the little, what you call it here? The little uh, air intakes, I guess you call it. The little, little scoops that goes into the hood. Got Wallace there with a Toyota sign there. There's the gold outlined number the gold trim i guess you could say wheaties on both sides of that got wallace nothing on the deck lid for whatever reason i was surprised it doesn't have like the 100 years or like the choice of champions or whatever it was or breakfast of champions whatever it said let's see so on the back here got camry wheaties toyota 100 years of wheaties got 23 right there i uh, got the back end which is a little screwy but not too bad got the tail lights back here got the pop rivets on the spoiler then of course you got the little diffusers down here on this side, you got, oh God, how do you say that? Oh, I'm not even going to try. DoorDash, Root Insurance, and Columbia there. 100 years of champions. Uh, Wheaties, Dr. Pepper, McDonald's, almost said Mobile One. That's not, that's not there. Oh, it's on the B post though. So you got Toyota, Money Lion, Mobile One, Mac Tools, and 2311. You got uh, BW, of course, Bubba Wallace. Is that on the other side? Yes, it is. I uh, got 23 right there. A little bit of a... Small foil crinkle, like a fold in the foil there on the three. But, I mean, again, it's no big deal. We've got the Goodyear tires. we got Goodyear uh, NASCAR Cup Series. got the Sunoco down here, 23. got the front end here, which is just all orange. Again, not really a lot of detail to it. Just a pretty plain Jane orange paint scheme. But, again, it has some meaning to it just simply because of me. Now, if you're, I don't know, if you're a Michael Jordan guy, which, I mean, obviously it's not just 2311 racing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan was, like, on the box of Wheaties 2 for a couple years or, like, a couple times over. I don't know. I mean, I guess you can call it nostalgic in a way because, again, Earnhardt and, again, I think Burton, one of the Burtons, drove Wheaties for a little while there. But this is a pretty cool car. Now, again, I'm not really a Bubba Wallace guy. And, honestly, if I didn't have any connection to Wheaties or if Earnhardt did not drive Wheaties, I would have simply skipped out on the paint scheme because it's, it's, okay, in all honesty, it's pretty bland. It's just orange, there's no lines, no design whatsoever other than the 100 Years of Champions on the side. But other than that, that is it. There is nothing else to the car. So just because Earnhardt drove it, you know, all those years ago, back in what, 1996, 7? Somewhere around there, maybe? Either way, drove it all that long time ago, so it's a little bit nostalgic. And of course, I have the connection to Wheaties with my dad and making dough ball for bait for fishing and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like I kind of had to get this one. In all honesty, I got it for the memory of my father. That was it. If you know, I did not get this car just because Earnhardt drove the same sponsor. I did not. I can promise you that. If that was the case, I would have picked up every Bass Pro Shop diecast imaginable. Speaking of, we're actually taking a look at a Bass Pro Shop diecast here later on. It's a COT of Martin Tricks Jr. from 08. Right? 08? 07? I don't know. I'll have to look. But either way, uh, yeah, so that's kind of funny that I mentioned Bass Pro Shops. And it's I, just, I remembered it sitting right here beside me. But I do believe that'll be it for this diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.